Can we talk politics for a minute? Um, mm-hmm. So, super PACs is something that I I think is very interesting, and I think I was having a conversation with one of my friends, and you know, I feel like amongst young people, there's a strong disbelief of the political system because mm-hmm. they've seen black people vote for a long period of time, mostly Democratic, mm-hmm. and not much has really changed. Or the social economic situation has definitely not changed. It probably even has gotten worse. And so a lot of people have the frame of mind that voting is a waste of time. Mm. And I was saying that I don't agree with that, but I understand it because just voting just for the sake of voting is not beneficial with no economic power put behind it. So we interviewed a congressman and he was saying that when he first got elected, from the first day he got elected all the way to the time that we interviewed him, he's gotten calls every single day from super PACs. Everybody from the Israeli super PAC to mm-hmm. the pro-abortion uh, super PAC to the pro-life super Everybody's giving him NRA, everybody, right? And he's like, the only people that he's never gotten a phone call is a black super PAC. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there is any black super PACs. So talk about that because I don't think that people are even fully educated to understand the importance of that and the economic behind the politics, which is actually, in my opinion, more important than any other aspect of it? Um, so this, this is complicated because there's two, there's two different ways that politicians get approached. They get approached based on issues, um, stop police brutality, uh, we don't believe in abortion, that's issues. And they get approached based on interest. Okay, I'm a coal company. I need you to pass laws to support the coal industry, my, my economic interest. Um, I'm a solar company. I need you to pass stuff to, to support the solar company based on my economic interest as a solar manufacturer. Um, for most communities, most ethnic groups, frankly, they spend most of their money on the second one. <laughs> like, they go and they say, pass tax breaks to help my business. <laughs> tax pass regulations that will help my business. <laughs> That's what 80% of politics is. We don't have a coherent strategy as black people to know what industries we're trying to protect. So for instance, suppose we decided, well, you know, black people are gonna own all of AI related entertainment. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on that. We're going to launch companies based on that. We're going to make sure that our entertainers and our our athletes are all built into that. That's our industry is entertainment meets AI. We're going to build the Disney of that. We're going to build the the, the Motown of that. Okay, now when you call a politician, you're saying, look, pass this law just to protect this industry. I'm going to make a ton more money than I would have, and I'll give you a donation. Mm -hmm. The fact that no black people can do that gives you a sense of how bad our strategy is. Hmm. Like, you have to pick. Remember when the, I hope I don't piss anybody off. But you remember when the Ethiopians, like, every time you went to a parking garage, it was Ethiopians? I don't know if that was was just in California. But there was a time when they had just targeted, like, parking garages. It was like the the hotel and motel industry with Indians. Yeah. Hmm. You pick something, and then you dominate that. And you protect that politically, mm-hmm. and then you start putting your kids into you know, different schools and whatever, you branch out from that. Our problem is we never have been able to figure out how to dominate what, where we show up. So we show up right now in the entertainment industry. That's really where we show up the strongest. In sports. In sports, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So sports, music, entertainment, film, that whole thing. So all of our abilities, so the LeBron comes out of that, Jay Z comes out of that, Tyler Perry comes out of that, Oprah comes out of that. That's where we are, have been able to dominate. But there are other sectors and other industries that we could dominate. Um, if we decide to do it. So I just want to point out the mere fact that we're talking about a super PAC for issues, for black issues, and not a super PAC for black business, I would say... So it's not a super PAC for reparations. It should be a super PAC for the music industry to yeah. protect the artist. That's more beneficial than trying to do a social I would say, issue. I, I would say that we should at least have a double-barreled approach we need to do a better job of getting government to help our businesses. That's all I'm saying. Government should be helping our businesses. Government should be helping our entrepreneurs. Our, and you know, not saying that people haven't 
thought about that and tried is difficult, but that's going to give you more of a return on investment. That said, issues matter too. And we should have, we should organize our money better. Um, and I believe uh, Charles Phillips and some other guys were working on that the last election cycle to try to organize black money around black issues. Um, it's true if a politician, need, they need two things. They need money and votes. Black people show up saying, we'll give you votes. White people show up saying, we'll give you money. <laughs> and so- So they use, here's my thing. I, I'm a registered independent. Good. <laughs> I lean towards democratic social mm -hmm. issues, pretty liberal. Mm -hmm. I lean towards Republicans when it comes to the economy. Yeah. I personally feel that the Democratic Party has used black people to get votes. Because like you said, we're, we have a, a, a lot of numbers mm -hmm. in key states. So that they, they pander to the votes. They go to like churches and sure. they do the whole thing. But then that's it. It's like, we just get the votes and that's it. Like you said, other groups will come with money. Mm -hmm. So we, we need your votes to get elected, mm -hmm. but then we're going to actually cater our policies to, to the people money. that's giving us the money. Mm -hmm. Everybody's kind of in on it. The people that's giving them the money probably know that as well. Only people that's kind of left out in the whim are just black people because they're just left ho hopelessly voting mm -hmm. over and over again because it's been drilled in our head like this is our pathway to succeed. It's like going to college, right? This is our pathway to succeed until you realize, damn, well, I have a liberal arts degree. Mm -hmm. I'm unemployed. I'm 30 years old and I have $100,000 student loans. Right. This didn't work out the way that they told me it would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, I mean, I, I, I'm going to shock you and say I don't disagree with anything you just said. Um, some stuff is, uh, frankly, white racism um, that gives us certain outcomes, but some stuff is bad black strategy. Like, and it's sometimes hard to know where one starts and the other stops. We should be much more strategic um, in how we vote and who we support. Um, when you create a situation where one party can just take you for granted and the other party can just write you off, then you lose leverage. And so it's important that we actually, and you know, Diddy and other people, I'm not the only one that said, that said this, it's important that we are a lot smarter. Um, what I will say is, as bad as things are for us, if we stop voting, they will get worse. That's why I said, you don't vote to get what you want. You need business for that. But if you don't vote, you can lose what you've got. And so we do have to continue to, to, to vote. Now, listen, people want to vote for Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians, Green Party. I don't care who you vote for. But you do need to vote because my view is people say it's a waste of time. It's not a waste of a lot of time. It's like a waste of an hour or two, which you're probably going to use. You probably spend an hour on your social media today. So it's not a waste of that much time. Um, uh, but I think it's important. But here's what I would I, I want us to have a strategy. That's what's missing. And the strategy can't always be about who's going to be the president or the mayor. That's only going to affect so much. It can get a lot worse for you if you have the wrong one. But it's not going to get that much better for you if you have the right one if you don't have other stuff in place. That's why you guys are so important. We have to put other stuff in place. And by the way, if we build a black business class, it's going to be a lot more uh, black uh, conservatives because you're going to have a lot of black, black business people going to want to vote for the party that's more for, for business. So we're going to have a little bit more political diversity in the community, and that's okay. But what I... What I but the, here's the thing I'm concerned about. Just go back to what I said at the very beginning. If we're going to have a new human civilization with all this new technology being built by people who don't look like us, trying to solve problems that are not our problems, making money off of stuff that you know is never going to come back to our community, that's a big problem. That's a big problem. That's a multi-trillion dollar problem that we can't vote our way out of. We're going to have to... We're gonna have to um, uh, nothing good happens for black people on accident. Nothing good happens to black people accidentally. Um, it requires planning. It requires persistence. It requires purpose. And in this century, the last century you can vote and protest and maybe you'll get something done. In this century, you're going to have to launch businesses. You're going to have to attract capital that's going to use this technology to help us either get us more money or solve our problems. That's what I'm trying to do. We have problems with the criminal justice system. I want to launch businesses. I want to move capital that can disrupt that whole industry. I want all 90 billion that's be supposedly being spent to keep our community safe. I want it in the pockets of black entrepreneurs who actually can keep our community safe. Like, and until that happens, I'm not going to stop. That's different than saying I want to, 
uh, I wanna outlaw police brutality. Mm -hmm. It's a different conversation. I'm gonna build a set of business interests to fight the other business interests and then use government to support my business interests over theirs. We've never done that before. And so if we can take our political genius, if we can take our entertainers and, 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 and our cultural influencers and then put the business people at the table, erase the chalkboard while we used to do it and design that strategy, we can win. Yeah. And voting will be a part of it. I it just won't be the only, it's, it's, it'll be a smaller part of it than it used to be. Extremely impressive. Oh.